Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the MySQL Automatic Updates webinar. We're going to be discussing the latest UpNext initiative for automatically updating MySQL versions. We wanted to take a brief overview of this webinar and let you know what to expect over the next 30-ish minutes. Having questions is great, so please save those for the end. I am pleased to introduce our team. I am Phil Hodges, the gentleman on the left there. Uh, I am on the cPanel community team. I've been with cPanel for just about two years and I'm active in the outreach efforts of the community team. I have a bit of technical knowledge of the cPanel product. I've been using it about 10 years. Uh, I'm also a big Houston Astros fan, as you can tell. I also like music, pizza, and poker. And speaking today is Kelly Grand. Kelly's been with us for about three years now. She's a product owner, too, of the Spectre team. And I hear around the streets that she's a huge Godzilla enthusiast and quite the foodie, if I recall correctly. Does that sound right, Kelly? Yeah. So hello to Kelly. Hi. All right, well, let's just jump right into this webinar. So what is this about? Um, it is our policy at cPanel to block servers from upgrading to the latest version of cPanel and WHM for various reasons, such as memory limits, disk space, or outdated software. Some of you might be familiar with this. Because of this behavior, a large number of servers have been stuck on old cPanel versions. Um, while web hosting services are still operational on these older cPanel versions, other integrated softwares may have reached end of life. Earlier this year in 2019, we learned a valuable lesson in the security of impacts of updated systems. So we're going to be focusing on protection from security vulnerabilities. One of the worst things that could happen did happen. A major exploit was discovered on an outdated version of XM that was on some of these older CPL machines. This resulted in a lot of issues for server owners like yourself. Those server owners did not take action um, those who did not take action have experienced issues such as loss of access of control of their server, theft of customer data, and abuse of the server's resources for personal gain. So cPanel is here to help you. That's what this update is about. As a result, cPanel wishes to unblock these machines where we can to help you stay up to date. In version 80 of cPanel, we added a blocker that prevented servers from upgrading if MySQL 5.5 was still installed. This means machines are left behind on version 78 of cPanel, which will reach end of life after the first quarter of 2020. Therefore, to help you stay up to date, we are automatically updating MySQL 5.5 on these machines where they qualify. So, what qualifies for this update? If your server is running cPanel and WGM version 78, and to know if you are running that version, this is where you can find it when you log into WHM, the big pink arrow there, pointing at the version number. And the local MySQL installation is version 5.5. So in other words, if you are using a remote MySQL instance for your server, you do not qualify. However, we still recommend you update your MySQL version if you are running 5.5. To know if your server is locally running 5.5, you should be seeing this banner when you log into WHM. It's a big yellow banner that says you're running an unsupported MySQL version. The last thing that we're checking for for qualifying servers is that there are no user databases on the server. In other words, databases created by applications or your users will be considered as having a database and those servers will not qualify for this update. So uh, to know if you have certain databases on your server that are owned by your users, you can go to manage databases under SQL services in WHM and you can find this blue banner here. This server does not control any user-owned databases. So what can you expect in this update? As I've just uh, gone over, your server is on version 78. You have no user databases and you're running MySQL 5.5. You will be getting this update and this is what you can expect. 
within the first quarter of 2020, there's going to be a, a notification sent to system administrators where you get a 30 day countdown before the automatic update happens. If your server qualifies and you have server contact information configured under the basic web host manager setup, you'll receive an email every day for 30 days before the server automatically updates your MySQL to 5.7. This will allow you time to perform the upgrade yourself and that would bypass the automatic update. This is where you can go to see if you have your, um, your contact information configured and WHM's basic web host manager set up. That is the email address that will receive the updates, the 30-day uh, countdown. And the last thing you can expect, um, once the 30-day countdown is up, the next time that UpCP, also known as the system maintenance script, ne the next time it runs, which is ran nightly, or if you manually run it yourself through command line, MySQL 5.5 will go through a quick check of the my.cnf file to confirm if it, that it will update cleanly. If it clears that, then the upgrade to MySQL 5.7 will occur. This process will add several minutes to the UpCP service. And the last thing you should know is that pre 4.1 MySQL passwords should be fine. If any of your customers have created database users in the past cPanel versions and you have, the, you have enabled the tweak setting, use pre 4.1 style MySQL passwords, then these passwords should convert cleanly. As always, if you experience any problems after this update, please open a ticket with your web hosting provider or with us. So what about the future of MySQL and auto updates? We just went over phase one, which is no databases. What about, what about if your server does have databases? We are currently evaluating a second pass on automatically updating MySQL 5.5, in which we'll expand the scope of the update to the following conditions. The update in this scenario will only go to MySQL 5.6 to reduce the risk. Please take a look, uh, take a minute to look over these conditions, but you can also find them on our cpanel.net website under the up next tab. And again, I'll reiterate, these are under evaluation at this time. So what can I do? Plan to perform the upgrade on your servers yourself. Um, this would be the best thing that you can do before we end up doing it for you. This will ensure that someone will be present if something goes wrong and you can react accordingly, thus mitigating downtime of services to your customers. Here's a simplified step-by-step -step procedure to do this on your own. Number one, investigate the installed applications that require database servers. If you have installed applications on your server that require database services, such as WordPress, you should check to make sure that these application versions are compatible with your MySQL 5.6 or newer. You should perform maintenance where necessary. Number two, you should schedule a maintenance window to inform your customers. Make a plan on a future date where you will do the update and let your customers know. Number three, back up your servers and back up your databases. Perform a backup of your server before doing a MySQL upgrade. You can also perform a backup of just your MySQL databases as another option. We have put together a guide on how to do this and I will share the link with you at the end of this presentation. Number four, perform the upgrade through the WHM MySQL or Maria upgrade interface. You can do this through uh, WHM, as I've just mentioned, or there's also the WHM API 1 start background MySQL upgrade function, if you prefer to go that route. And lastly, after the upgrade, you should test your dependent applications to make sure they are working properly. If you detect a problem and you've performed all the steps above, 
you have several options to recover from. If something goes wrong, here are your options available. One, restore from a server backup. Two, restore from a database backup. Or three, open a ticket with your web hosting provider. And of course, like I've said, CPL is always here to help. You can open a ticket with us. And if this is all too much for you, we have one more recommendation that we can make. You can hire a system administrator that cPanel has certified through our safe admin program. Here is the link for that. So here we have our resources, uh, the links I had mentioned. Here is our backup guide right in the middle there. Uh, the top link is our knowledge base article about this update as well as an extensive FAQ that we have written. And at the bottom is the hire a cPanel certified uh, safe admin system administrator, excuse me. Okay, so now we have time for questions. Let's see, do I go to the chat window? Chat window would be the place, yeah. Okay, I'm trying to make the thing show up. I don't see any questions. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Correct. So I put a comment into the chat that if anyone is viewing the webinar after it's been completed, they can contact us at community at cpanel.net. Perfect. And I'll make sure to forward those questions on to you so they get answered. Yep. And thank you all for joining. And here is my contact information as well. And you can find me on Slack or Discord as cpanelkelly. Hope you all have a great day.